Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore. Your protection in God is active all year. Dear Gifted Podcast listener, it is a joy to serve you. Gifted Church is seeking to launch e-church, a cyber congregation that will be pastored directly by Pastor Kwame. You can contact him for more information. It is time to hear the word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the word with Pastor Kwame. This is yours truly, Stephanie. Praise be to God. Blessed assurance, Jesus is my amen. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died for me. And that is what we are holding on to as people of faith. Today, I'm going to share with you some strong doctrinal truth that is able to kind of solidify your faith and give you a lot of stability in times when you don't know when things are very unstable. And so I want to talk, I want to, talk to you about um, why... Christianity or why you are a special person, why God calls you a holy nation, a peculiar person, a royal priesthood. I want to talk to you about what is it what does it mean to be a Christian to be to be precise and 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 what how important it is and what are some of the things that makes this thing more powerful because faith in God is bigger than one person. You know, so I want to kind of come to the place where i'm dealing with faith but before that how are you doing i greet you in the name of the lord jesus christ and it's a pleasure and a delight to share the word of god with you the flower face that lives with her by the word of god abide forever i thank god for your life i thank god for his mercies and his kindness let's continue to trust him when we know that all things work together for our good amen let's get busy let's get busy let's get busy all right so i am spending some time with you in the book of romans you know what romance is is the classic amen the book of romans chapter 20 uh, chapter 8 verse 23 uh, paul says now we too wait e-, he says let me start again he said we too wait with eager hope for the day when god will give us our full rights as his adopted children we too wait with eager hope for the day when god will give us our full rights as adopted children the book of romans is a classic as always but in the book of romans chapter 8 paul is dealing with what happens when you put the new covenant to reality what happens when you put the results of the new covenant and you mix it with life if you have life on one hand and you have the new testament reality on the other hand what happens and that's what the tension he deals with you talk about what can separate us from god's love he talks about we are we are crushed we are persecuted we are suffering in all kinds but we still don't give up this this hope we have and 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 he deals with all of that talking about the flesh and the spirit it is a it's, it, it is a very uh, rich chapter in the Bible. But I'm going to teach you what uh, the fathers call the blessed hope. The blessed hope. It, it, is, it is what um, our fathers, they hung their life on. Uh, we, our generation, we hung our lives on prophecy. We hung our lives on blessings. We hung our lives on um open doors we hang our lives on good news but the people that pass the baton to us they hang their life on blessed hope they hang their life on blessed assurance they hang their life on 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 something more substantial because when by the time they came to the faith they realized that they didn't have enough physical thing to show for it and so they hung their life on the truth that i'm going to share with you today so i'm going to give you uh, practically uh what is blessed hope and how can you use it in 2020 what is blessed hope and how can you use it in 2020 so in the book of romans chapter 8 paul says now so um we are part of creation and the entire creation is subject to a curse we are living in a curse No matter how blessed you are, the whole world is under a curse. Right? And the and 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 the Bible says the curse is not a choice we made. We were subject to it. Do you understand that? It's one man that the curse came upon earth the earth. And the curse is still speaking in the midst of salvation. 
the curse on humanity is still in effect in the midst of crucifixion in the midst of glorification in the midst of justification the curse is still speaking and so in my verse it says that now the whole creation grown it awaiting the manifestation of the sons of god we are waiting the time where the curse will be lifted upon humanity and when that curse is lifted upon humanity then the sons of god will manifest ourselves in our full right so we are in a state of we know who we are but we don't look like who we are we know who we have become but we don't look like who we have become and that is the tension on the table you understand that and with that said i want to talk to you about what is blessed hope so the blessed hope is a a state of mind a state of being where you understand that what you are going through as a child of god in this life cannot be compared with the glory you are about to have so the blessed hope is the understanding that no matter what your lot is in life whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well with my soul because of the blessed hope amen and so the blessed hope is an understanding and awareness and i'm going to tell you, show you how to use a blessed hope in 2020 but let me define the blessed hope so the blessed hope is the awareness and the understanding that whatever life gives me it is less than the glory that christ will give me amen the blessed hope is the understanding that whatever i go through in life it is not as bad as the what i'm going to get out of life out of the my life in christ do you understand that so paul says now we are all going through these challenges in life like every every creation is going through this curse and we having the holy spirit we also experience this curse but what we understand is that we also are waiting for the day when we will step into the full right as god's children we come to the a new body and all of those things right okay so let's go back and go forward again so the blessed hope is the understanding that this life cannot do you bad enough for you to regret becoming a christian the blessed hope is understanding that this life cannot treat you bad enough for you to wish you were not a christian because what you're going to get when the glorification comes is more than everything this world has to offer all right so let's talk so before i talk to you about how to use a blessed hope i said earlier on the beginning that um so our fathers of the faith they came on board with the blessed hope their songs were talking about the blessed hope their songs were based on the blessed hope right and then we came along and we saw prophecies we saw prosperity and we saw our uh, miracles and power and we 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 took our faith from blessed hope and then we surrounded our faith with testimonies so whilst our fathers had the blessed hope we were living for testimonies we were living for victory in this life and so because of that we hang our faith on 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 answered oh god help me we hang our faith on answered prayers we hang our faith on 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 faith we hang our faith on works we hang our faith on things we see we hang our faith on open doors in this side of life we hang our faith on all of these things and it's becoming clear that we need to go back to the blessed hope as i'm going to spend a few minutes and show you how to use the blessed hope amen all right so the blessed hope is a state of thankfulness let me share a testimony it will help a little bit the blessed hope the first how you use it is a state of thankfulness that makes you uh, that makes you overcome life challenges in a way that other people cannot my senior brother um i have uh, two senior brothers and the other one uh he's called uh senior brother kwejo 
and senior brother Yao, right? Senior brother Kwaju is a very skillful soccer player. And he, skillful as he is, he plays like old school soccer. New school soccer, you don't dribble a lot. But he plays old school, so he dribbles a lot, right? So, I was watching him on the sideline. He was playing for the school that I, we, I attended. He was a senior, so he was a school prefect. And also, the I think, I don't know if he was a captain of the team, but he was the, he was a, like a, a big kid, right? Very famous in a way. All right. So, on the field, my brother was doing his thing. Taking control of the ball and doing some amazing things with it. And somebody from nowhere just slid under him. And he fell and he broke his left hand. My brother played the soccer for another five minutes before he realized that his hand was broken. And the only reason that he broke his hand and didn't know it was because his heart and mind and focus was not on himself but on the ball he was playing amen now what i'm saying is that so somebody told him hey your hand is broken and then he saw that it was twisting and then he lifted his hand and then they took him out so you can call it adrenaline or whatever it is but what i want to understand that the blessed hope understanding that no matter what i'm going through in this life it cannot be compared with the glory i'm about to receive when life throws certain challenges your way you go to the other side and you wonder how did i survive how can my whole family be drowned and i'm singing when peace like a river attended my way or what sorrow whatever things i can say that what taught me to say it is well with my soul simply because my soul is about to receive something that my flesh and my family and all the things i'm going through cannot be compared with it so the blessed hope is what keeps a single person singing the blessed hope is what keep a sick person singing. The blessed hope is what keep a broke person singing. The blessed hope is what keep a, a person who is corona affected singing. I'm saying the blessed hope simply because it is the ability to look life in the face and say life, you cannot give me anything too painful. That God cannot wipe away. You cannot give me anything too crazy. That is not worth me waiting for my adoption. You understand what I'm saying? So, Paul says now, we don't have the full right. So, we will suffer like everybody else. But don't get it twisted. I am not like everybody else. I am single like that girl. I am broke like that boy. But they are not like me. Let me take you to the cross. When you come on Friday on Golgotha and you came out of town and you don't know anything, Jesus looked as bad as the man on his left and his right. What you are going through doesn't mean that's who you are. And if you don't know Jesus, you will see these three criminals who are dying and people are trying to defend whatever. So, the blessed hope means that I might be going through the same thing somebody who's not a Christian is going through, but we are not the same people. I am going through into glory. I'm going through my pain into glory. But they are going through their pain into destruction. And so, it's, it's a joy to spend time in um, Romans chapter 8. So, he says that the blessed hope is what um, causes us to, to not, 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 it causes us to not lose hope. In a hopeless situation. The second thing is that I want to I kind of um, go off tangent a little bit and tell you that Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. The reason you know Jesus is coming is because the world is not doing, um, the world has not seen this much of birth pains like this before. You understand? Even though I share with you that Jesus will come on a peaceful day, the signs are clear now that Jesus is coming. Even when we restore things, we know that the, the earth is becoming one. Do you understand? One of the things that Jesus will do when he comes that he will rule on earth. And if coronavirus is ruling on earth, then you know Jesus can rule on earth. Because when you are a child and they say, Jesus will come and rule, you are like, how can he be one person and be in rule over China 
it will rule over all the countries and then he show you coronavirus coronavirus is ruling the entire globe one virus ability to control the entire human population so it's an example of christ's rule when he, he will rule from jerusalem but his rule will be global and he will rule with it with, with, with his saints in glory amen all right so let me go back to what i'm talking about so the blessed hope now uh, puts us in a place where nothing in this life can make us cry because there is absolutely nothing that this world can give to us that is worth us now oh glory to jesus so number one the blessed hope to use in 2020 helps you stabilize your heart when because life can be painful but but when you are sitting in the blessed hope the pain level will decrease so my brother got up and then they took him to uh the place where they have to bandage it and they bandage it for him but the the, the truth i'm saying is that you are able to go through certain challenges in this life when you have the blessed hope amen the blessed hope is your receipt for the glory. So this life may or may not treat you right, but you are a candidate of the blessed hope. So, so when our fathers were singing in the sweet by and by, they were not colloquial. They were not old-fashioned. They just understood the book proper. Yeah, when our fathers were singing uh, on a hill far away, when our fathers were singing, um, I would uh, and as changes someday for a crown. They were not old school; they understood the book proper. Amen. When you understand the blessed hope, you are not scared of dying. That's that's what you use for twenty twenty. I, I love America. America has made me what I am. I cannot, um, I can never, no matter how I, I talk about the Black Lives Matter, I can never say America has not done me well, you know. I can never say that. But one of the things I, I, I'm so careful is the fact that um, America can destroy your blessed hope because America thinks that America is a blessed hope. They think that your best life is now. They think that prosperity is now. And unfortunately, the entire American prosperity is based on cheating other people to be blessed. The entire American system is based on cheating, stealing, and enslavement. So I want to be boring this podcast and tell you that this life it's not your reward. Paul says, even in this life alone, we find our reward. We are the most miserable people. Enjoy the blessed hope. Sing about the blessed hope. Live for the blessed hope. It will do something on your inside. Let me go to the last point. The blessed hope allow the Holy Spirit to flow in your life. And don't fight the Holy Spirit because, because of the blessed hope. You know the Holy Spirit is in your life to stop you from praying. <laughs> Let me explain before you you you, you exit the pl- the platform. The Holy Spirit is in your life to stop you from praying, so that He will pray for you. The Bible says now, for we do not know what to pray, but the Spirit takes over and pray in accordance to the will of God, that we cannot pray. So your prayer request, chances are they are all not God's will. Because we don't know the will of God. But the Holy Spirit takes over with groanings that we cannot alter. And he prays in accordance to God's will for us. Amen. So the Holy Spirit will take over your prayer request and pray it properly for you. Because your heart is on the blessed hope. So I want to encourage your heart today. These are not what this generation wants to hear. But right now you have to hear it because that's the only thing that will work. 
because there are doors that are going to be shut in your face. There are some promises that you're not going to see it, but you have to be happy. You have to have joy in your heart and you have to press on the blessed hope because this world cannot massage you enough. This life cannot satisfy you enough. This uh, people will not do it for you. It is God and his blessed hope. So, in conclusion, child of God, uh, I want you to hear this. We too, we wait with eagerness. We too, we wait. This is not how Christianity is. Christianity is better than this. Christianity is better than this. We are not fully God's children yet. We will be when he appears. Look unto him and understand that there's a blessed hope coming. Your paycheck is now coming. All the things you get in this life is not what God promised. A better thing is coming. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you that. But I go prepare a place for you. And when I go prepare a place, I come and take you to myself. There I am. There you be also. You are journeying through this life. This is not your destination. There's a blessed hope ahead of you. And that is why you let things go. That's why you give money. That is why you are not a oh, Jesus. You are not a citizen of this kingdom. You belong to the kingdom that has no bound. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for the blessed hope. We depend on you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.